that has come, Lord, tonight. In the name of Jesus, hallelujah. We thank you, Father. We bless you, Lord. Hallelujah. How many can see the wisdom of God in Pastor's teaching? So calm, but so much wisdom. Hallelujah. I'll just touch two things and that she said and then I'll give you the mic. There's something that came in my heart when she touched that. Listen, everything that you are doing should point to kingdom. Why are you working? So that you can bring man in the kingdom. Amen. That's the first thing. If that becomes your mindset and your mentality, then God has a reason to add to you. And God has a reason to keep you, to sustain you, to protect you. Hallelujah. Amen. And to extend your life. It's that mindset. That's why Paul says that I have run my race. I have finished my course. Hallelujah. I have kept the faith. That should be your story at the end of everything. That you have done the work of God. Hallelujah. I pray for you that you are going to serve God in the name of Jesus. Hallelujah. It becomes a woman that will leave a mark for the kingdom of God. Many people are living for themselves. Hallelujah. Amen. It's a choice. Show me how, show me your heart for God. I will show you a woman God will use. Show me your heart for God. I'll show you a man God will use. Hallelujah. Amen. Even Satan is looking for people to use. That's why he gives people privileges so that they can become satanic agents. Also, God wants to give us privileges. Hallelujah. Amen. Women of power. Men of power. Hallelujah. Women of anointing. Men of anointing. Hallelujah. Amen. God will take us there. Amen. But our heart must be burning for kingdom king things. Amen. Hallelujah. Amen. No excuse. There are people are driving from very far to come here. She had to go by pastor. Take home my ghost. For them to come because the husband is in Cape Town. Yeah, he's coming from Cape Town straight to come to a service. Been working for the week. It's the heart for God. Amen. Hallelujah. Amen. Lift up the right hand. Oh, Father, in the name of Jesus, I ask you to bless these people. I ask you to honor pastor. I ask you to honor all the leaders and all the people in this service. I declare the grace of God upon each one of us tonight. That Father, our heart to begin to bend. Hallelujah. Our heart to begin to bend for kingdom in the name of Jesus. Oh, thank you, Father. Oh, My mother, the Lord is giving me a word for you. They say, the Lord wants to close them. The season of being in, and God wants to give him another season of another opportunity. But this season is for you to come more closer to God, and God is going to, to give you ability and anointing to produce money in this new season. I see the world about to close this season, but new season about to open, and God will give you grace and ability. But it's for the purpose for you to come closer. And I see God want to give it a divine task. You won't die until this task the Lord is going to come to pass. We pray for it in the name of Jesus. Hallelujah. Amen. I bless. Oh, it's the mama to go. But a good way. And the sister have come. Wonderful people. Let's pass a take over before we go. In Jesus' name. Hallelujah. Amen. Okay, I want you all to stand with me. Before we go ahead with the proceedings, I just want you to prepare an offering. Just come on. 
You can just put it down the pulpit and we will pray on it.
lead us, to help us when we need help. He is the shed to us in this place. I thank God for every I thank God for everything upon his life.
question in mind will ask how you manage to keep this place right and uh, every month you, are, you, you keep on going past that. We thank you for the faith, we thank you for the love, the yeah. level of love that you have given us. We love you, Pastor. Thank you. His favorite line is, it is well. Uh, it is well. <laughs> and Boston, that is what it is well. This church is standing here. These people are standing here strong because of you. Because of the grace that God has given you. And today we just want to honor that. We appreciate you. We appreciate the fact that you are our pastor. I know that it's not wasn't an easy decision to stay. But we thank you. We thank you. We thank you for the time that you spend. For all the times you spend. We can phone you with a challenge. We can come see you with a challenge. I don't know any other pastor that you can have access to. Let us not take it for granted, but let us appreciate that we have a pastor who has a heart of the Lord, as I said earlier. I don't know if there's anybody else that want to say something, but pastor, this is what the gift from them and the rest of the congregation. So, we appreciate you.
the pain just disappear and everything. Can Pastor, can you allow me to sing, please, sir? Can can we dance, somebody? Hallelujah. Are you ready? Jesus. If you're not dancing, I'll come to you. Oh 